Greetings, my name is Dan Poitrast. I'm an engineer with TechPro. Today I'd like to talk about our 10 watt direct flame thermoelectric generator. This is the unit right here. As you can see, it has a small form factor to it. On the bottom here, this is the flame receiving side of the unit right here. And I have a little Coleman propane stove right here. So I'll light the unit up, make sure my flame is right, and I take the 10 watt unit and place it directly over the flame. With any of our thermoelectric generators, one of the things you really want to watch out for before you hook anything up to it, um, we call them loads, which are these, whether it be a smartphone, um, a tablet, or let's say an inverter or something like that, is you want to make sure the fan on top of the unit is spinning. Let me see here, get this way. This is the accessory cord that comes with the unit right here. It is keyed on this side, so it'll plug right in here and it'll always be the right direction whenever you plug it in. Now one side of this has a 12 volt barrel plug, a lot like a cigarette lighter you'd find in a car. And the other side is a USB port, so you can directly plug in any of your cords to, again, a smartphone or a tablet. All right, the fan on top of the unit has started, and the fans on these units start very quickly. Uh, the flame is really coupled well to the thermoelectric generator. So I'll take this cord, plug it into the top, screw down the collar, and the light on the unit is on. That means it's ready to start charging your devices. So I have a tablet here. I'll plug that right in. And the tablet is charging. As well, I have my iPhone here, so I'll take my cord from my iPhone. Plug it in. plug this into the bottom and the iPhone is charging as well. Now anytime you hook up a load, basically anything you want to power off of the thermoelectric generator, you want to make sure the fan continues to spin. Now as I said earlier, when the fan doesn't spin, what that means is that you're overloading the thermoelectric generator and you can damage the unit. So let's say I do plug in an inverter and I have this gigantic heater hooked up to it. Plug it all in and I look down and the fan isn't spinning on the unit. The first thing that you want to do is disconnect the load or whatever you're trying to power from the thermoelectric generator and make sure the fan is spinning on the unit. All right, so this was our 10 watt direct flame thermoelectric generator. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to call us at TegPro or send us an email. Thank you very much.